Hey, welcome to a quick tutorial of how to use the video app to overlay your race box footage on top of your um, GoPro or other video. So I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to this session right here, and I'm gonna you on the bottom left. There's a select media. Tap that. All right, you've so you found your video. Select it. Click select lap over here in the left and pick your fastest pick your lap that matches the video notice that the um, video if you look on the right the video date created was 6 29 a.m so the gopro time was was incorrect on the gopro when the video recorded was recorded but if you make that correct and so it matches your lap time so the lap was march 3rd 11 30 a.m if you had those two correct you would save yourself a lot of time because um if we can match the two up, we'll we'll do a little bit automatically. So anyway, select your lap. You have your video selected. You can scroll through it. That's the right one. And then click sync video. So the first step is we're going to synchronize the timestamps of the video with the uh, with the data since the, since the clock on the GoPro was wrong when we started. So notice that we're going to be taken off. We're just I'm just touching on the video itself, and I'm scrolling left and right. So my fingers on the video and I'm just kind of moving it left and right. And that's the finish line jump. And I kind of know the video started just be, so I kind of know that the video is going to um, correspond with right when I crossed the finish line of the lap. So you can kind of, you can see the lap in the upper left anyways. So we know that it's synchronized if the landing of this jump So you can see that that's kind of the landing point right there. So I need to back this up just a teeny bit. So I'm just moving the bottom red bar with my finger. And then I'm going back and I'm moving the video. And the, then the video is going to try and move with the, the bottom bar. So let's go to one of the, the next bigger jumps. So I'm in the air. And there's about the landing. And notice that on the video down below, you notice that the landing is also is, is in line with... You can kind of see in the video the bike is landing. Let's go. This is the takeoff of the next jump. We're in the air. And you can see that 61 feet landing is again like it's aligned with you can see the bike is landing right there. So we can keep on doing that for all the jumps, but we know right about now that the video is lined up with the uh with the data. Notice, notice in the upper left hand corner, the bike is pointing at the corner. Notice in the upper left-hand corner, the little circle that's moving left and right is in the corner. So that's another indicator that the video is synchronized with the Lip Pro data. So once you have that, then click the lock button here on the bottom right, click lock. And now no matter which of these two things you move, whether you touch on the video and move left and right, or you touch on the little scrub bar on the bottom and move left and right, it's locked together. If I want to unlock it, because I made a mistake, I would I would click on that. But we're good. And now I'm just going to hit the back button in the upper left. And now uh, I'm going to click the Create Overlay button in the bottom right. And this is where you can decide what you want to display. So these are all the different these are all the different options that we have. And you scroll this. I have my finger on this uh, this kind of lighter gray area on the bottom left and I'm scrolling up to switch between these different data streams. So um, I can turn on everything just by tapping on all of these thing highlights right here. So they're all highlighted. And now everything is kind of turned on, all the overlays. I got my heart rate, but there's no heart rate strap. So I know I want to turn that guy off. I'll turn off heart rate strap. And the route stream, if you turn that off, notice the route goes away in the upper left. I like the timing, that's good. I like the jump data, that's good. The height data, that's good. Everything's kind of, I'm fine with everything. I want the Lip Pro logo, if you, you can turn that off, but leave it on. We like that. Speed, it's in a good spot. If I wanted to move anything though, let me see, do I actually want to move anything? Let's say I just wanted to get, I kind of like where everything is, but Let's say I wanted to just get the speed to move. So I'm going to click on this toggle in the, in the bottom left here. And now this thing is movable. So I could just move it up here where heart rate was. 
click off edit mode and that little thing in the left bottom left now i have everything kind of on the right so let's say that's what i wanted to do you can change you can change a lot of stuff if you want but this intro outro so if you want to just it's going to automatic when it's yellow it means it's on and that just means that let's go back to the beginning notice that everything kind of animates in if i turn off the intro get out of edit mode then the intros then it's just always there so i mean probably just keep it on boom everything is rendered correctly i'm gonna hit render that's it so that's how you overlay lip pro metrics on your um on top of your uh, video app this is going to render it's going to take a few seconds whatever when it's done it's going to ask if you want to save it into your thing i'm going to just abandon that so i can show you something else real quick it's like i have to wait so play preview now we would have the audio mixed in with the video all the overlay metrics click x and I just want to save that to my video, my album. And now it's just in the album. So if you want to upload it to somewhere, YouTube, Instagram, you just go to your photo album, pick it just like you would any other video, and you're good to go. Let me go back here, though, and show you one other thing. Yeah, let me pick a landscape photo. All right. So, yeah, you could pick my consistency score. That's pretty cool. I don't want that one. Just want my logo. My biggest jump. So I'll put that in the upper left. Biggest jump, consistency score. And boom. Save it. Now I have that in my photo library if I wanted to do that. So that's the video app.